Astra Lost in Space really blew me away with that first episode. It was the type of storytelling that I just love seeing in anime, brought to life so well that filled me with a lot of emotion and just wonder. The show is a science fiction story where space travel between different planets is common and it focuses on a group of students who are traveling to a nearby planet for a camping trip. However, the routine camping trip soon goes terribly wrong as they are flung 5,000 light years away by a mysterious black thing. Luckily, they are close enough to a ship they are able to get to it, and while it will take a long time, they will be able to get home. It's basically Star Trek Voyager, but with high school students in anime. There are a lot of things that the show nails from the start with how it sets up the story. The two main characters were likable from the very beginning, which allowed me to get into the rest of the concept without being bored. Ares is a bit ditzy, but really cares about others, and she's just someone I want to see succeed. Then there's uh, Kanata, who is big on never giving up, fighting for what is right, and while he might be a bit of an idiot, he's someone who I also want to see succeed in whatever he does. I loved how he was able to rally the students around them after they were flung through space. And he seems to be an interesting character too with how the death of his teacher affected him and while he puts on a tough act there's definitely a lot of doubts beneath the surface that I think will be interesting to get into. I was also impressed with how they set up the world here. Being so futuristic there are a lot of details that they could explore but the show was only giving us the small pieces that we needed to understand the story so it never bogged us down with tons of boring exposition. I'm wondering how much we will get into the world as a whole here since there's a lot they could do with it or they could just focus focus on the whole plot of the students getting back home and not focus much on the world. Either way, it could work, though they could definitely do a lot here if they wanted to. I like the overall concept too, with them needing to find a way to survive and make it back home. There wasn't that much of the story shown beyond the concept, but there's definitely potential for it to be really exciting. And they did a lot to establish what could be a really good framework here. They have a long-term goal of making it back home, more short-term goals of getting the supplies they need from the planets they visit, and then an overarching mystery of what exactly happened to them and why which really sets up the story for something that could be really great. And I also have to talk about the production values because they were really amazing. I loved all the bright colors that filled the world and made it just have a sense of wonder. It conveyed the sort of adventure story this was, and there are numbers of small details that added life to what we were seeing. The music was also great, able to highlight the emotions of every scene, such as showing Kanata's determination or the character's despair. There are also times when there was no music, and that was used perfectly to punctuate the feeling that the show is going for. Plus, of course, you have the themes about determination and friendship that I always like seeing. All in all, a great first episode. I ended up reading the first few chapters of the manga when that came out a couple years ago, so it is cool to see it animated here. And I'm hoping that the series will keep up the quality, though I am a little bit worried because every time I make a video specifically about how great a first episode is, I then end up being let down by the show in at least some way. Though, maybe this will be an exception. I can only hope.